just a reminder to make sure to go follow me over on Instagram. It is Jeffrey underscore James underscore reviews. Follow me over there to see updates and talk pro wrestling. What's going on, boys? Today we are back with another review. And today we are going to be reviewing the SummerSlam Elite Kane figure. Pretty excited to crack into this. I love this version of Kane. Uh, I grew up with the, a little bit of the masked version of Kane, but when Kane unmasked, I remember how huge and crazy that uh, moment was. And yeah, it, it, it was insane. I remember my cousin telling me about it and uh, blew my mind. I was like, what, did Kane unmask? No way. And he did. Um, and we, we got to see what Kane looked like. And then this version of Kane, man, the bald with the bob wire tights. This is this is my Kane, you know. This is kind of the Kane I grew up with. So, really excited to have this figure immortalized. Uh, I did have the original OG Elite of this figure, like with the chains and the um, the towel on the head. I had it for years and years and years, and finally, I think I traded it or sold it back in the day. So I like having this now with the updated double jointed arms. I'm really excited about this. So let's go ahead and look over this packaging. First of all, I love this packaging. I love the colors on it. I think it's just a very unique, different packaging and I really like it. Um, we got the figure there. This is the Build-A-Figure referee, John Cone. I actually, this is probably the only Build-A-Figure that I actually kind of want it, want to do. Um, I don't know if I ever will, but if I do, I have the head sculpt at least. So and there's only four figures. And I mean, I want the X-Pac, the Taker, I don't really care about. The Lex Luger, I have no desire for whatsoever. So I don't know, we'll, we'll see. But there's the back of the box where it shows you the referee, John Cone, build a figure and the rest of the figures in the set. We got a little read there, uh, some stats there. Kane looking menacing as ever. Kane and SummerSlam. Like I said, this is the SummerSlam Elite Wave. Found this at the SummerSlam Shipper at my local Walmart. So they are hitting. Um, I've seen them. They're hitting. So anyway, let's go ahead and crack the man with arguably, listen, arguably the best theme song ever. The, the, uh, oh God, how's it go? You, you know the theme song we're talking about. Arguably the best theme song ever in the game. Let's shut up. Let's crack him out of his packaging. <laughs> All right, and here we got Kane out of his packaging. I like this figure a lot, man. It is really cool. Like I said, it's pretty much an updated version of that older Elite Kane. Pretty sure this is the exact same head sculpt, head sculpt maybe with like a True Effects. And then I think that other one had like the half hair look. Um, but I like the all bald look. This head sculpt is like decent. It's not great. It's kind of a goofy looking head sculpt, but I like it. I think it works pretty well. Torso choice is a great choice and they put these beefy arms on them and I love that. And they're double jointed. These elbow pads do hinder a little bit of articulation. Maybe we can find, I found that the AEW ones are a little bit more softer. So maybe we could put, find him some AEW ones we can put in there. These tights are just super nostalgic and I love these bob wire red with the black. Wish his boots were a little bit shinier. Kane's boots, I don't know, for some reason as a kid, I remember Kane's boots always just being super, super shiny. Like even when he had the mask on, his boots were always super shiny. Um, we got the weapon holding hand and the glove look. And then we got the regular, where it is, there it is, uh, the regular, like skin toned one and this alternate head sculpt let's go ahead and try it on man this is a this is a weird weird cane head sculpt it's like a the mayor head sculpt or something no anyway this is the referee john cone head sculpt. i just wanted to put that on there um yeah, man, this figure rules, dude. Like it, it is. It's it, it. It's good. It's a good cane. I mean, what can what can you say? Probably gonna switch out this one. Keep his choke slamming hand with the glove on there. Um, yeah, this this rules, dude. I mean, definitive ruthless aggression into. I, I mean, I wouldn't even consider this the ruthless aggression era. Like this was like kind of after but also towards the end towards the beginning of the ruthless aggression era too was he was kind of like this so 
uh, yeah, definitive Kane figure right here in my mind. I just, I love this attire. I love this era of Kane. So uh, I'm going to say it's a 10 out of 10 on this one for me. Let's put the World Heavyweight title on him, not the Damian Priest one. Ugh, if it'll vomit first. Let me see. I have one somewhere. You know what? Oh, wait. Nope. Hello? I need it. Hello? I know I have a world, <laughs> world heavyweight title. I have like seven of them. Here, there's one right here. We'll just thank you, sir. Just grab that from him. Put that around his waist. Yeah, man. Kane, Kane was so terrifying as a kid, dude. Like, <laughs> I was so scared. I was more. I think I was more scared of Kane than I was of the Undertaker, because Kane was like, yeah, like. Me and my friend used to watch, he had a Kane DVD of like all, a bunch of Kane highlights and stuff. And we watched that ambulance match with Shane, Shane McMahon so many times where he like tased his nuts or hooked a car battery up to his nuts. What the fuck? I blew my mind every time I saw it. But yeah, man, this figure rules. Look at that. Looking super good. Sorry, my professional uh sorry my light keeps tying i suck uh but yeah this figure rules so definitely pick it up if you see it because it is a 10 out of 10 in my mind and that is going to do it guys so thank you for watching this video make sure to like comment subscribe all the good stuff follow the instagram do whatever you want to do if you don't want to do any of that tell me to f off in the comments see you guys in the next one